Okay, so this is something I've been trying to make for a really long time. It's my own homemade glass discharge tube. This is hopefully going to be the first step for me to maybe someday making my own vacuum tubes, like maybe a homemade triode or something, but this is much, much simpler than that. This is just a glass tube, a Pyrex tube that has two wires sealed into it, two tungsten wires. And uh, the glass has been heated up with a torch and then uh, squeezed to make a hopefully hermetic seal around the wires. And apparently the expansion ratio of Pyrex to tungsten is supposed to be pretty close. So hopefully there won't be any cracks or any leaks for now. But I don't know. It works right now and I'm just happy for that. So basically I just took a glass tube and I squished and I put the wires in and then I squished it uh, lightly right here just so the wires would be held in and then I did two more squeezes to make the actual seal. And then I put it onto the vacuum pump. You can see the remains of the old tube there. And I pumped it for 10 minutes, and all the while I was using the torch to heat up the sides to try to get it to outgas as much as I could. And after that, I just put the torch on the end and rotated it around, and then I turned the glass so that it would seal on itself. And then I pulled it off. And then I tested it, and I was surprised that it worked. So it's really cool. So I'll show you it working now. I got my... I got a transformer here that puts 3,000 volts out at 120 volts, and I'm running it at about 12 volts right now. So I just turn it on. And you can see this beautiful glow coming from the two wires. This is running on AC. And it starts when I put about 10 volts onto the primary. And then from there it just gets brighter and brighter until the tungsten starts to glow red. And it's really cool. If I can get this in shot, if I take a magnet and put it near it... Maybe you guys can see that, hopefully. You can see the plasma moves around. Oops. Yeah, I have a loose connection right here. So, I'm optimistic, but I'm also realizing that probably there isn't a hermetic seal right there. It's probably slowly leaking in the air, and then eventually it'll just stop glowing altogether, but... I'm hopeful, and I'm certainly happy that I was finally able to get this to work after geez, so long of trying to make something like this. So I'll keep you guys posted on how this works if like it stops glowing or something, but hopefully that won't happen. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you found this inter interesting.